So firstly, I want to talk about tangible outputs. Um, and this was really that students that had a positive placement experience, they had something to show for the work that they had done. And this is really very important. The students that weren't given an opportunity to produce something like a brochure, a poster, um, a blog, they didn't value um, their placement as much and they couldn't see how much value they had put into the placement. Um, so, and they used digital technologies to do this. Quite often it, it would be, as I said, a blog or a brochure. So I've got a student here who I spoke to, Harriet, who worked in the Knowledge Transfer um, Centre. And she actually designed, redesigned these notice boards, which um, apparently no one has kind of ever looked at before. They did kind of thought, it's not a very important thing, can you redesign the notice boards for us? But in doing that, it gave um, Harriet kind of a real opportunity to show how um, her kind of contribution was valued by the employers. And they since said that people have kind of stopped and looked at these posters and they've asked questions about the partnership scheme and she was involved in the overall marketing strategy of the, of the placement scheme um, which they run in the Knowledge Transfer Centre so she really felt that her input had been uh, valued and I also want to say I'll reflect on my placement experience um, that it's led me to produce my own professional portfolio online which I'm just starting at the moment it's not it's not fully developed yet but it's these kind of um, outputs that you want to produce that really show how you've contributed to your placement and they're very important. So, I asked students what they most valued about placement, um, and one of the things I heard time and time again was being immersed into the office environment, or being just working with um, academics, or working closely with employers, and really feeling part of the team, not feeling like a student, feeling like a valid, a valid um, employer, and treated you know, as if they were just anyone else in the office. Um, and they really liked the feedback that they got from other members of the staff. And they, if I just think of my supervisor, how many things I've, I've learned from her throughout the time. It, it's, it's really been um, invaluable for me. And things like, very simple things that an employer wouldn't necessarily think of. So like email etiquette. You don't get an opportunity to learn about these things when you're doing your degree. So it, it's really kind of basic things that you almost wouldn't necessarily think of that, that um, the students really, really value. And I said a mismatch of values, because this leads on to my next point. So what the students most valued was these quite basic things. And what employers most valued was that they were, a lot of them told me they were actively looking for, for skills in social media. So it was that the um, employers were looking for skills that the students didn't really even see as a, an employability skill. You know, I can make a group on Facebook, but I don't, I, they didn't see how... Uh, a, a company might want someone who can do that thing and they particularly wanted students that could use it in a professional or strategic way. So students that had these skills were really, really sought after and they were very impressed with students that had developed, um, developed their skills and become digitally literate with things like social media. So it's a mismatch because the things that the students are most valuing are things that they kind of take for granted and the things that employers are most um, valuing are things that students wouldn't necessarily think of as being um, desirable for an employer. Um, so I, I did carry who was one um, placement student I went and spoke to and she actually used Facebook to get um, participants for her survey and for her research. She was researching for the Career Centre and um, she used Facebook in a strategic way to target a specific group of um, a specific group of students so it was, it was she used it as I said in a pro professional way and that was um, very important for her to see how it could could be used, um, how, sorry, how Facebook could be used in a kind of business world. And um, on my blogging, I've learned, I've had to blog throughout my placement, and I've learned actually that there's, there's a lot more to blogging than you think, and actually it's very important. The time of when you post um, something is very important. Who's going to see it? You've got to think about the audience. If you've got a research project, potentially you've got obviously people that are funding it, you know that they're going to be seeing it. You've got to really think about how you control your image and when you put these outputs. Uh, so, time to develop. Uh, lots of academics have said to me, placements are too short, particularly with Europe schemes, which are typically six weeks long. Um, it just wasn't enough time for the student to develop their skills. So they'd spend maybe the initial one or two weeks um, learning how to use a particular piece of software, and then they're not getting enough time to apply these skills and develop them. 
So, um, as I said, students need time to further apply these skills, and that means that they can feel like they've actually made a valid contribution. Um, and the academics obviously investing a lot of initial time. They want to feel like it's worthwhile taking on a student for these weeks in the summer, and they want to feel like you know, they're getting something back for the initial time that they've put in. And so, as I said, the lasting impact on the project that they've been involved in. Um, so, promotion of opportunities. This is something I think is really important. Um, lots of the European Seed um, placement adverts were advertised on a um, subject basis, not because they necessarily wanted to restrict it to one subject, but that's the only way that they could advertise it through, through one department. Um, so that puts a lot of people off. If you see a particular, um, you know, someone in chemistry wants this, it's going to put a lot of students off, even though they might have the relevant skills. So I think if they, if they advertised on a skills needed basis, so we are looking for, but not only that, they talked about the skills that you will develop throughout the placement. It gives the student an idea of what they, get, they will gain from the placement, which is a lot of students didn't really know, they just thought, I want to do a placement, I want to improve my employability, but they've got to think, what will they get out of it, and what skills can they really kind of develop um, through doing this, and I think that would get a lot more um, increase in applications, if students knew what they were going to be gaining from a placement, then they would get a lot more interest, um, and as I said, it helped them to really value it, if, if they don't, if I didn't know what research um, uh, project entails, but now I can really understand that, and if um, if you can, can, can understand it, um, it really helps to um, see your placement experience very positively. So, as I said, my experience has been uh, very good. And what I most value, so I just wanted to quickly say what I most value during my um, placement over these summer months is, um, from employers, I've learned how um, important it is to have a positive online presence. <coughs> They're looking at your Facebook profile, so make sure you've you know, looked at how that's presented. They're seeing if you've blogged before, they're seeing if you um, have, you know, how you've pr um, produced your CV. It's, it's really, really important now. Students need to actively have a LinkedIn account and think about these things um, because it's not going to, they're not going to, um, you know, pass over it. It's, it's, it's really, really important. Um, and students, I've really enjoyed going to speaking to all these different students, all different faculties and um, different subject areas, really crazy placements that, you know, very far from what I'm doing, but they're still into research. So it's been really interesting for me to go and speak to all these students and hear what they most valued from their placements. And I've learned a lot from them as well. And from, on the academic side, I've learned research skills such as reporting, interviewing, phone interviews, um, doing write-ups, countless things that I have never would have done before and I wouldn't get the opportunity of, to have done in my degree programme. And obviously presenting skills, I presented at a conference a few weeks ago and presenting today, so opportunities like this are, are really, really invaluable and I definitely think I'm going to take these on to um, whatever I decide to do after university.